Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my Apple product unboxing and overview videos. Now today is February 3rd, 2023, which is the unveiling day of the new HomePod Generation 2, I guess, pseudo smart speaker system from Apple. So for those that don't know, HomePod is a sort of uh, high quality, we're not going to say audiophile, but just a high quality speaker system that can be, you know, used as a standalone or can be set up in multiple speaker configurations. It supports Dolby Atmos. Uh, and of course, the smarts really comes into it when you subscribe to a service like Apple Music. So uh, Apple introduced this back in 2018 as the HomePod and then subsequently killed it off in the spring of 2021 for some unknown reason. The price tag of this thing was rather high when it came and hit the market and it didn't perform very good as a smart speaker and I think the high price tag turned off people um, given that it had very limited capabilities. So fast forward now to 2023, I managed to have someone pick this up from the Apple store for me today and of course we're going to unbox it so let's just dive right in. So HomePod 2, I'm excited to get this because I actually had a HomePod 1 um, OG that I never actually uh, published a video on. It's a speaker, what can I say? So it comes in a nice high quality box, like all Apple products come in, except now because of environmental reasons, they no longer wrap things in plastic. So on the bottom here, this box weighs quite a bit. It feels like it's like a seven pound weight. So let's carefully pull off these strips and see what's inside. There's one. And there's two. So this speaker, by the way, uh, basically is the same price as the HomePod OG. It's at $399 Canadian. Inside here, they've really cut back on the packaging. A bunch of cardboard, whereas the original version had like a nice insert. But that's okay, it's just a box. Wonderful unit. Oh, look at that. It's even got like the power port on the back and the cord's not kind of semi-permanently attached like the original version was. So we've got that and then inside the bottom of our box. Oh wow, look at this. It's packaged definitely different. Right, pull that out and then inside the bottom here we've got our obligatory sort of owner's manual, certification paperwork, HomePod, let's see here. Let's carefully pull this out. Oh, wow. It's kind of all jammed together. Well, whatever. These are just instructions, safety, hazard, whatever. And it also looks like, well, no Apple stickers that come with it. So Apple's really starting to cut back on costs, which is unfortunate because I would have loved to have some Apple stickers with my new Apple product. So now that we have the unboxing out of the way, I took the opportunity to set up the HomePod and actually update the software accordingly. Um, for those that are wondering, HomePod version two comes with iOS 16.0. And then when I set it up, it was at 16.3. And then today, Feb 6, it actually um, updated to 16.3.1. So uh, before I talk about the auditory performance of the speaker, let's just talk very briefly about some of the technical differences between the OG version and the version two. Namely that in terms of form factor, it is almost fundamentally the same. I think the new HomePod weighs about 200 grams less than the original one. And that's attributed to the fact that there are five tweeters in here instead of seven, four microphones instead of six. And then there's some other minor tweaks like um, obviously the top plate here uh, looks a little bit different. It's a little bit smaller, uh, more recessed into the top of the speaker uh, with a larger LED uh, color array that matches the design language of the HomePod mini. And then the bottom no longer has sort of that dished in cup base. It's a solid flat base, just like the HomePod mini. And then uh, as you saw from the unboxing video, a detachable power cord, which is nice because if your dog or cat chews through this cord or you damage it in some way that odds are that Apple's gonna have a replacement available for purchase. Regarding those technical differences, so those are some of the key ones. Uh, the other thing being that it now uses a Apple Watch S7 CPU instead of the uh, iPhone 6's A8. Whether it's actually faster or better, uh, that's undetermined because they're both 64-bit CPUs. Uh, but what I do notice is that Siri uh, does actually operate significantly faster on the S7 chip. It just seems to have more or better onboard processing than the A8 ever did. So 
Now, as far as uh, the audio performance of the speaker is concerned, I actually had uh, a eight to 10 hour break in period for the speaker where I was playing a variety of different music genres uh, at moderate to actually loud volume levels. And I was actually quite pleasantly surprised that the HomePod 2, uh, in my subjective opinion, sounded better than my uh, HomePod original version. I no longer actually have the OG version because after Apple announced that they were going to discontinue it in 2021, I promptly punted it for fear that it was no longer going to be supported. So really nice that HomePod 2 uh, came out and will be supported going forward. Now, as far as the sound tuning is concerned, what my biggest complaint with the HomePod OG was that the bass was actually very, uh, very boomy. It was very bloated and I just, I didn't like that. And it was so bad that Apple actually introduced a reduced bass feature uh, on the Home app uh, to sort of address that problem. And I found that while it was bloated, if you turn on the reduced bass functionality, that the bass then felt it was quite lacking. And then even the mid ranges and the highs, while they were quite good, um, they weren't fantastic. And what I did notice about the HomePod 2 is that Apple mostly addressed those concerns. What they've done is that they've actually tuned down the woofer's output quite a bit. And some of the other YouTubers that you find online right now have actually done definitive sort of full spectrum analysis of the HomePod 2 and the HomePod 1. And the bass roll off on the new version um, shows that, which is why it doesn't sound as bloated. So the mid ranges, there's a bit more sort of <clears throat> The response, I should say, mid-range and the highs is a little bit better, and I like that. In fact, I found that the HomePod OG was a bit lacking in that, which is actually why I stuck with an Amazon Echo Studio for a while, because it actually had better highs than the HomePod. So again, HomePod 2 has addressed some of those concerns, and it's now my sort of favorite, we'll call it pseudo smart, spe smart speaker for your home, because Siri's not all that smart. Now, uh, my final closing thoughts on this is that should someone go and invest the $400 Canadian or I guess 300 US to buy a HomePod 2? I can't say that HomePod 2 is infinitely superior to HomePod 1 or vice versa because sound is a subjective thing. Even though the specs on the HomePod 2 in terms of bass response isn't as good, that's actually deliberately done by Apple to de-emphasize the bloated bass. Whether you like that or not is, again, it's up to you. Now. If you own a HomePod OG, does it make sense for you to upgrade to a HomePod 2? Well, if you're happy with your HomePod 1s and they haven't blown up yet because of the DC offset issue in the amplifier section of your unit, then I would say don't bother because at the end of the day, the differences between these two models is far less uh, than the sort of the new features that they've added on to the HomePod 2. Um, but at the end of the day, they both perform really good. They sound really good. Uh, and if you've already got a whole complement of OGs going on your home, that it doesn't make sense for you to drop a dime to buy one of these. Now, if you were like myself, where you got rid of your OGs because you thought that they weren't going to be supported, then it does make sense to buy something like this. So there you guys have it. Uh, very, very brief technical overview, unboxing, touch a little bit on a whole bunch of different things. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you for watching.